I talk about here is using what we call an O-ring when shooting line or for line control. The O-ring is going to give us a couple things. It's going to give us control and also it's going to eliminate rod wrappage around the butt section of the rod. Let me explain. So case in point, first part is this. Often when we're casting line, doesn't matter if it's streamers, dries, nymphs, salt water, whatever it is, what we're trying to do is have control as soon as the cast is made to be able to go from our line hand to our rod hand and be able to control that presentation and strip in the line from the very beginning. What happens so often is that when we cast, we let go of the line, and then we try to go up and grab our fly line, regain control, often that's when the fish is gonna strike and we're gonna lose that tape. So what I want to do with my line hand is I'm gonna hold on to that line and I'm gonna pinch it between my thumb and my index finger. I can make a haul, a double haul, or just simply hold on to the line when I make that stroke. The moment I stop the rod, that loop forms and goes off the rod tip, I'm gonna let go of that line and allow that line to slip through this O-ring. And what this does, it allows me to control that line going through the guides at all points. Now, as soon as I make this cast here, I pinch, go through this O-ring, right there. I basically have control right from the very beginning of the presentation. I never let go of that line. So we just pinch, let go, let, let that O-ring hold onto the line, transfer it over into my rod hand, and begin to retrieve. So the O-ring is going to give you control from the very beginning of your presentation. The other thing that I really dig about this O-ring is often when you're shooting distance. When you're making a cast so often, when you make a call right here, you often you get line that wraps around the butt section of the rod. And one of the reasons for that is that when you're casting distance, you're not just carrying line, you're shooting line. What I mean by that is like if you're making a 60 foot cast, I'm not gonna hold 60 feet of fly line in the air and try to cast it. What I'm gonna try to do is maybe hold 30 to 40 feet of fly line in the air, stop the rod and then shoot another 20 feet of fly line. And with the O-ring here, one of the things that we can do with this O-ring when we're shooting line that we're actually trying to transfer from the line off the water to the rod tip is as soon as I stop that rod, that line begins to unroll and that line's shooting through my O-ring, I'm gonna actually slide my line hand, my O-ring up towards the first stripping guide. And what that's going to do is instead of the line jumping towards the stripping guide, it's going to jump towards the first stripping guide. And that's going to almost completely eliminate the rod wrappage here. So let me show you how this works. Very simple, little haul here, little haul here, shoot, O-ring slides up, line control. And if you do that, that is going to almost completely and 100% eliminate any line wrappage around the butt section of your rod. Right there, line control. So right there, the O-ring is going to give you control from the beginning of your presentation by simply casting and having control right there. And then also it's going to eliminate rod wrapping around your butt section by taking that O-ring and sliding it up towards the first stripping guide and then controlling the presentation after the cast. So I hope these tips are helpful and I want to thank everyone for watching. Be well. Thank you.